I have recently become a member in the German Aviation Research Society and in today's video I will talk a little bit about GARS as they call it. Be sure to stay tuned until the last minute of this video to find out how I'm planning to use my membership in GARS in order to help you understand where aviation stands in these hard times. You might also want to click the subscribe button for all the videos that are here and that are coming, which are elaborating the topic of aviation. My name is Julia George. I used to be a cabin crew and flew for Qatar Airways for 10 years, where I have resigned from my last work position as a cabin service director. I'm a criminologist by profession. I've graduated Police Academy in Macedonia in the year 2008, and currently I'm doing master's studies in aviation management here in Berlin, and I'm trying to combine my educational background and my work experience into the field of aviation. Let's start. GARS stands for German Aviation Research Society, as I have mentioned at the beginning, and this society has the aim to connect the theory and the practice in the aviation world. There are several ways that GARS is doing um, to facilitate that, as I have mentioned. One of them is by providing a platform for academics and for practitioners that are working in the aviation industry. Also, GARS is acting as a forum where we can discuss recent developments in the aviation world. GARS is also promoting a dialogue between the researchers um, in the industry and in the um, uh, world where regulations take place, as well as GARS is supporting the academic talents in the field of the aviation research. In the terms or in the fields of the activities, the German Aviation Research Society is organizing conferences and workshops on different aviation issues. As an example over here, I will mention subjects like aviation and the environment, also topic like predatory behavior in the aviation, uh, topic like airport competitions and benchmarking, uh, airport slots allocation, liberalization of the air transport, airport regulation. GARS is also supporting us, the students and junior researchers with special workshops where we can present our work and where we can discuss our work with economists, with managers and regulators, etc. etc. Um, GARS is also uh, organizing annual events uh, which are pretty interesting and I'm really looking forward to participate in all those annual events. Uh, those annual events uh, are the junior research workshops, different um, aviation sessions uh, with different topics, um, also a European aviation conference, aviation management and economics conference, GARS is also organizing summer schools in cooperation with various universities, etc. etc. Where the idea to join GARS came from? Um, therefore, in some of our classes, we had a presentation by our professor, Professor Thomas Biermann, which I very often mention in all my YouTube videos, because whenever I speak about aviation management, um, I definitely uh, remember Professor Thomas Biermann, as we are also having a few classes on few subjects with him. And in between the class, he presented to us GARS and he presented the uh, possibility to become a member uh, at the German Aviation Research Society as we are already students in aviation management at Wildau Institute of Applied Science. Therefore, we, we are eligible to join GARS. Um, therefore, I wouldn't want to say that uh, membership in GARS is limited, but unfortunately, if you're an aviation enthusiast, uh, it would be perhaps hard to join GARS as you would have to, in a way, be connected in some of the previous activities that I have mentioned at the beginning of this video in a legal form, be employed or be a student with the aviation in order to become a member of GARS. But you, as a candidate for the job role called cabin crew, and as someone who's very interested to know when aviation is going to bounce back, what is currently happening in the aviation industry and on the market itself? Being subscribed on my YouTube channel and staying in touch with me over my social media networks, uh, mainly I'm referring to my Instagram account, Xcrew, Next Crew, where I am very interactive and I always respond to your messages. You will always get an insight of a content that will give you the picture of where aviation stands 
and I do get all those informations from my university where I'm studying and also by being a member in the German Aviation Research Society. Therefore, thank you very much for watching this video and I'm going to be seeing you very soon with all other topics that you are interested in when it comes to the aviation and the cabin crew role in particular. Bye bye and have a nice day.